All right, brothers and sisters, Brother Elihu L coming at you from Baltimore, Maryland. All right, since I made the last uh, <clears throat> videos, part one, two, and three, and a few posts, okay, like I told, I warned people that the truth of our beginnings will rock your foundation, okay? And I see that people are really having a hard time with it, you know? First of all, let me tell you this. They're having a hard time with the slavery part that we were created as slaves, okay? Let me tell you this. First of all, every race on the planet has been enslaved, all right? You're, you're, you're not exclusive in that, in that enslaved being a slave part, okay? Number two, right now, the whole fucking world is a slave, okay? You're a slave right fucking now, okay? So get over it, all right? Number three. Black people, especially the Hebrews, being enslaved is part of our heritage and legacy. It's the part that makes us who we are. The fact that we've been enslaved more than any other group on the planet. Asians have been enslaved, okay? They were thrown in concentration camps here. India was enslaved by Europeans. White people was enslaved by fucking blacks, Moors. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, every race has been enslaved on this planet. Aborigines in Australia. You understand what I'm saying? Every race has been enslaved on this planet. Arabs were, Persians were enslaved. Okay, so get over the enslavery part. The story of our beginning of our, our entire story is a beautiful story. All right, stop focusing and getting stuck in that one fucking enslaved part. Okay? You know, they, they say, I had one guy say, well, you know, you go, you gonna take me from a a, a king, a king, and, and and then try to say that I'm a you know a slave. You, you know, you want you love being lied to, okay? You love you you rather rest in the comfort zone of lies, okay, with the chemist shit, all right? Than than to hear the true story and the whole story, okay? And this is what I told you about uh, value system and intent, okay? And, and, the, and, and the impact that it has on true researchers and true scholarship, okay? Some individuals don't want to know the truth, and it's a word for that. It's called schizophrenia, inability to deal with reality, okay? I told you it will rock your whole foundation, but keep reading, okay? The story doesn't end with just you being created as a slave. The story goes on that then the gods had compassion on man. You understand that? All right? And then they fake the one they created to be a slave and the labor in the mines, they end up having compassion for and choosing them and favoring them over all the other groups. They gave us certain things they didn't give the other groups. You understand what I'm saying? In the form of anatomical advantages, okay? And also in the form of uh, uh, laws, religious laws. They gave us sciences. You still are the inventors of a whole lot of sciences, okay? You still are the creators of masonry, okay? And all of these type of things. They gave you these things. But it's just that now, of course, you know, the world has uh, conquered us and this, that, and the other. They've ransacked our museums, our great schools of learning, the mystery system schools, and this, that, and the other. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not exclusively ours anymore, okay? But listen to me. This is the harsh reality of life, all right? No one ever said that... This is life. This is not a fucking motion picture made in Hollywood where the hero wins and you live happily fucking ever after. Okay? We were created by some fucking alien motherfuckers to be slaves to work for their ass. Period. That's how the fucking shit starts. Okay? Get the fuck over it. This is life, goddammit. It's fucking reality. Okay? This ain't no fucking Alice in Wonderland or no fucking Wizard of Oz, okay? It ain't Star fucking Wars where Luke ends up with goddamn Princess Leia, you know, and, and, and whatever the fuck, how that story ends or whatever the fuck. This is fucking life. But the good part about that shit, even us being slaves right now, is that at any given time, you can exercise your motherfucking will and change your fucking circumstance. You can say right now, we as black people are going to arm my fucking selves and revolt okay this is how you get out of bondage and slavery it's self it's fucking example after example in the fucking bible the scripture that they gave you in case you ever was to get enslaved by anyone else other than the Anunnaki who created you they gave you tools in the scriptures that and yet so that you never would be enslaved again and whenever they came at you in the biblical scriptures and tried to enslave you they were right there to tell you how to get out the shit 
And they always told you to fight. And they told you one more thing. Kill them all, God damn it. They told you kill them all. So don't sit there and give me that bullshit. All right. And this hard fucking time emotional hang up you got over the beginning of how the fuck black people were created. Hebrews. OK. Hebrews. OK. You're a fucking Hebrew. Period. OK. And our legacy is a legacy of being enslaved. We was enslaved in fucking Egypt. The ones who dick you on. You understand what I'm saying? Enslaved your ass. We wasn't there on vacation, goddammit. You wasn't there uh, doing no astronomy and all that bullshit like they lied to you and told you you was. You was there laboring for them motherfuckers. Period. Period. So get out that fucking fairy tale, man. Egypt wasn't no fucking holiday. It wasn't no fucking vacation for fucking Hebrews, man. And that's who you are. You're not a fucking African, okay? You're not a fucking comedic, a commission, okay? You always want to swing on someone else's dick. You don't want to embrace your own fucking heritage and legacy. It's a legacy of struggle. It's a legacy of hard times. But it should have, instead of it having the effect it should have had on you, which is to mold and shape and build a strong character within you, you understand what I'm saying? You deal with you are dealing with it from the wrong mental perspective. You're still dealing with it from the perspective of the slave as opposed to the, the, the perspective of the victor. One who overcomes obstacles, one who overcomes struggle, one who deals with these type of endeavors. You understand? And seek victory. Because the examples are given to you throughout the stories over and over and over and over and over. Through Joshua, through Saul, through David. Through Yahshua. You understand that shit? And they let you know that we with you. But they have, they cannot, they must nurture you. Just like with your children. You have to fucking, you don't help them until they fight. You don't help your homeboy. Your homeboy call you up and say, man, I got beef with this nigga or whatever, whatever. Okay, did you fight the nigga yet? Call me when you done fought the nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Fuck is you calling me for right now and then it's just you and one man. Fight the nigga. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll go there to make sure I watch your back or whatever. But uh, you better, you know, I ain't getting into shit until you pop this nigga in his mouth first. You understand what I'm saying? You got to throw down first, man. You want a motherfucker to come out the sky and save your fucking ass. You understand? And it ain't going to happen, man. They sent you messages after messages recently. There's good up here. We're with you. We're these motherfuckers. They look like you. You know? We don't like deceivers. We don't like these motherfuckers over here. These ones that's giving you hell. Okay? And then when you start throwing down in the book of Revelations, what they say? We come quickly. We come quickly. Surely we come quickly. Boom. Just like that. We heard your cries in heaven. Here we are. We here. Boom. You understand? I tell you, man. I tell you. True scholars. Now, fuck, fuck. Fuck those wanna live in fairy tale in Egypt land and don't want that 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 beautiful dream fairy tale world fucked with. Okay? I told you it will rock your whole foundation, the truth, okay? But I now I'm addressed true scholars, okay? The story don't end with you just being created as a slave class, okay? It's a beautiful fucking story, how we was created. And we are the children of God. This is what Israel means. El means God, but it's also the name of an individual God. You understand? Yisrael, children of God, children of El. You understand? The most powerful being. You understand? You're favored and chosen above all other motherfuckers that walk this planet. But you have not seized control and taken your rightful place in the affairs of men. You have not done it. Okay? And, I'm, and, and this is why I keep telling you the dangers of this Kemet shit. It will keep you in a fucking a comatose, toast, not doing nothing, not moving forward, not fighting, because you will stay drunk off of this goddamn lie that you was there as kings and doing all kinds of uh, great fancy shit. And you wasn't. You was there laboring for them motherfuckers. They had your ass enslaved too. 
So what fucking difference is it that you you prefer Kemet as being your slave master a, a, instead of some alien motherfuckers? Oh, and what you forgot? Uh, you forgot already 165 years ago your ass was in bondage here by the cracker? You forgot that? You forgot you was enslaved in Babylon? I told you, history dozens of times you've been enslaved, Israel. You forgot Germany had your ass enslaved? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. See, this is why I say, man, you niggas is just joke. Half you niggas that claim that, that Kemet shit and so in love with it, you niggas ain't read one book on the subject. All you fucking did was watch some fucking videos, some sign letter videos, some Super Seti videos, probably some Dr. Ben videos and shit like that. Maybe read a few memes and maybe a couple Google articles, period. How many books have you read on the shit? None. Zero. All you so-called, you know, you fucking aunt wearing and all, you know, you niggas, man. To tell you, yo. Jokes. Jokes. Clowns. Suckers. Chumps. Ain't gonna kill nothing, let nothing die. Love being drunk and just stroke your ego stroke. You know, that's why I've got that. That's why niggas like polite ripped off to all them goddamn black sisters. You God, sister. You a God. You know, the black woman is God. And all the while, yo, he ripping their ass off because they was drunk off the wine of his goddamn lies. His fairy tales. And you see, niggas love that shit. You love, you love to be entertained, okay? You love to be entertained and you love to be lied to. Love that shit. Love that shit. And if somebody fuck tell you you being lied to, you get mad at the goddamn motherfucker who's trying to shake you awake. I don't want to wake up. Just like a black mother when she's sleeping and she got kids. And they wake her up and shit. She goes on a fucking rampage. You know? But the kids just being goddamn kids. Fuck you getting mad at them for? Shouldn't be sleeping on the job anyway, goddamn it. Sleep when they sleep. Shit. tell you man listen the slavery part of the whole Sumerian tablet and your origin and beginnings okay it is only just a fucking eye wink of the story it's brief okay it's very fucking brief and it, it, and it was just a means to an end they didn't like the enslavement part Anki didn't anyway E-R, y'all y'all didn't like it the one you call God, Hebrews. He didn't like enslaving you. He didn't want to enslave you. He grew fond of his creation. He began loving his creation. It was El and Lil, his brother, who was like, why are these motherfuckers over here in this garden and not in the fucking mines working, you know, for the, the purpose we created them? Ain't that what the fuck you told me, Anki? You said we was making them the mine of fucking gold. But you got these motherfuckers over here in the garden frolicking and shit. Fucking and, 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 and enjoying the goddamn benefits of being Anunnaki. You know, you got a gigi looking like Anunnaki. And this is the conflict between the two brothers. You understand that? It's the story of your, of your beginnings, man. It's the story of your origins. So please, don't be deterred, man, by the, the ignorant, man. By the schizophrenics, okay? Remember, schizophrenic means an inability to deal with reality. They like lies. They like to be in a sleep state. If anything qualifies as a slave, it's a motherfucker that don't want to wake up. So you crying about being a slave in your historic origin, and you a slave goddamn now. Who does that? Who bitches and, 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 and say, you know, you will take me from a king and then try to tell me I'm a slave? I was created as a slave. Motherfucker, you a slave right now. Shit. You just a slave with benefits. See, that's what I'm saying. You a slave with benefits. You a slave with a Mercedes. You a slave with a job. You a slave by an apartment. You a slave with a house. Come the fuck on, man. And there's these little small lies that keep your ass in bondage. They keep your ass in bondage. When I tell black people, you supposed to have a space program, a nuclear program, a standing military, a navy, an air force. You understand that shit? 
Motherfuckers looked at me like I was crazy and then the other motherfuckers looked at me like we did. Ain't no fucking we. You can't fucking, you can't fucking uh, send that goddamn military nowhere. Not no nigga got that kind of power. You understand that shit? And don't tell me that fucking Barack shit because he don't choose who he go to war with. He's only there as the front man. The stage man. There's motherfuckers behind the scene. He has handlers, goddammit. Shit. These motherfucking wars and shit are planned without him being present in those rooms. By the powers that be. The real rulers of the world. He ain't invited to them meetings. He's just handed the fucking memo after they make the decisions. Come on, man. Gotta wake the fuck up, black people. Seriously. But the story is beautiful, man. It's out of this world, literally. Like I told you, it's literally out of this world. You know? But you love, you, you've you been so, so groomed by Hollywood and movies. Everything must have a happy ending. You know? What if I told you you was never kings and all that kind of shit? None of that shit ain't never happened. Or even if it did happen, motherfucker, look at you now. Okay? Then you would get upset. But no, motherfucker, that's not the right way to look at that put that look at that circumstance and situation. You look at the circumstance and situation like this. You say, well, if that is the case right now, and if I'm a slave right now, at this motherfucking moment, from this point on, we're going to declare that nobody from now on is going to take advantage of us and fuck us over. And right now, we're going to arm our motherfucking selves and kick the ass of the motherfuckers that's doing us dirty. That's how you change the circumstance, period. You don't march to do it. You don't legislate to do it. You don't pick it and boycott to do it. Okay? You don't try to elect some kind of motherfucking political motherfucker. Okay? Who didn't even make up the game. He don't even really know the rules of the game. He just trying to be a player. Come on, man. Real scholars, if you want to know the real answer of who you are, where you come from, what is your purpose, why are you here, read the stories, man. Study. Study. Because it's more to the shit that I haven't even found yet, man. It's so much more. I'm just on the on the on the brink of the shit. You no? Know? And I told you, my first reaction was the same way. It fucked me up for a few days. You know what I mean? Fuck me up for a few days. But praise be the praise be the God Almighty, yo. Praise be the God Almighty. That you know, he spoke to me. Eli, this is not this is not the this is not what it's all about. Don't get stuck on that shit. You understand what I'm saying? There's more. Keep going. Keep reading. There's more. Alright? There's more, brothers and sisters. There's more. All right, so keep reading, man. Sumerian tablets and your history and origin and your story and legacy is the most beautiful shit out there, okay? The Sphinx wasn't created in no Egypt, neither were the pyramids. They weren't made by no Egyptians. They were made by your ancestors, okay? Hebrews built that shit, designed it and everything. Ningazita, her name was Ningazita. She was Anki's daughter, okay? She was Yah's daughter, Eah, Eah's daughter, Ninganzita. Her face is on the Sphinx. And then God, the Enlil, the brother, got mad. He told her, he told her this. He said, he was going around the world and they always use mountains and shit, right? As the, the beacon and, and, and landing points and shit. When they would come, you know, from space. And they're what they call celestial chariots. They call them celestial boats. You are fucking those, okay? The the, 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 uh, the Indian stories of Krishna and all that are full of the stories. And these are the same people. Do you know that the word Krishna means the black one? But they always paint them purple? Because they don't want to paint them black. India has a caste system in which light skins or closer to whites are on the top. And the dark ones they call sudras. S-U-D-R-A-S. Sudras. Slaves. See, the world knows this shit. You, know, you think the white people uh, thought of this shit on their own? 
to fucking enslave black people and go into fucking South Africa and find these uh, mines with these veins of gold? No. The mines can be seen from fucking space, from, from the air. They look like corrals made with rocks where they were mining shit. Still there all over fucking Uganda and South Africa. Okay? Still on the ground. David Icke has done some shit on there. Michael Tellinger has done shit on there. YouTube the shit. Research the shit. Keep fucking studying. On these corrals. These gold mines that are still there. Look like circles and shit. Inside of circles and shit. Okay? They built that shit, man. They knew the way the gold was. They had these fucking probes, they say. That they could point at the ground and shit. And it would give them numbers on the lit up face, they said. Meaning a goddamn monitor, a fucking computer screen type shit with a probe that they would stick in the ground, stick in the water. And they had numbers on there. that, And they could tell by the number indications what well, fucking uh, metals were present. You understand that shit? So this is how they found the shit. And it was, guess who it was who did it? It was a law league. It was a law league. Why you say a law walk by? A law walk by. Okay? It was a law league whose face is on Mars. Keep reading the fucking stories. It's incredible. It's incredible. And it's yours. It's your legacy. It's the most beautiful story in the world. Egypt story can't even fuck with it. In fact, 90% of the Egypt shit is the shit, is the original shit. Your story retold. Just hand it fucking down. You can see the pictures of the Anunnaki sitting there on the goddamn boxes and shit with the tigers and shit inside the boxes. Same way you see the pictures of uh, Osiris sitting on the goddamn square on the boxes and shit with motherfuckers inside the boxes, slaves inside it and shit. Okay? Same shit. Like I said, man, you rather get the diluted shit, the watered down shit, because it's more sensitive and, 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 and you know, soothing to your motherfucking uh, damaged psyche, you know? But like I said, I told you in the video, man, if you can't handle it, just put the shit down, man. It's because most of y'all ain't going to be able to handle it, you know? Your fucking ego, see the way the mind works, the mind is a motherfucker. It's going to defend itself, first of all, from any kind of pain or discomfort when you're dealing with mental things. It's called trauma, all right? So when I sit there and tell you that Egypt ain't it. See, Egypt is real fucking comforting, and it, it, it releases endorphins and, and, and dopamine in niggas. It makes them feel good to see that shit, the black people on the wall and all that shit. You understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> But it's doing a bunch of bad shit. It's fucking you up, really. But you don't see it and you can't understand it because you don't understand the mind. You don't understand the mind. And that shit will keep your ass enslaved for another hundred years being drunk off of that shit. Because it won't keep you to fighting. It'll, in fact, it'll keep you stagnated. It'll keep you just, just, just passive because you are all right with the thought, you know, of you was a king and you was a god. So that'll keep, that's all right. They can keep killing us. They can keep fucking us over. I used to be a god. And Kemet, bullshit. You was there as a goddamn slave also, goddammit. If you know the truth. If you read the stories, man, you got to fucking study and research. They just giving you one part of the shit. The part that they like both, most, Okay. And then that shit has been distorted and mistranslated and miseducated to motherfuckers. You know? Alright, man. If any of y'all want to holler at me, man, you can reach me at Elihu, L, Elihu under, underscore, what is it, that, 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 that slash, under slash, or whatever the fuck it's called. Elihu under, underscore L, all lowercase letters. Elihu under, underscore L, at yahoo.com. Don't fuck with the Gmail address I used to have, the God is Black 
uh, at gmail.com. Don't fuck with that one. Because uh, uh, Google is just they giving me hell, man. You know, they I, they, uh, they are doing acrobatics trying to stop me, man. You know, these motherfucking white people go into these places, man. Iraq. You know, Iraq is, is, is really a rook. It's not Iraq. It's a rook. Okay? But they changed the spelling to Iraq. But it was a rook. It was where your people was from. Ur and the Chaldees. It's all that region. Iraq. Iran. Syria. But it wasn't called that. It wasn't called Saudi Arabia. It was all called Mesopotamia. Okay? Saudi Arabia was given that name somewhere around the early 1900s after the House of Saud. Those Arab motherfuckers. That name is new. That name is fucking new, man. It's fucking fucking... Well, ain't nobody probably walking around uh, 116 years old, but, you know, it's fucking people damn near still walking around alive for as old as the name Saudi Arabia is. Comes from the house of Saud, Prince Saud. A United States flunky and puppet who pays goddamn extortion money to the United States for protection against his neighbors. He gives them oil in order, uh, for protection. That's the type of bitch he was. Same type of bitch as the goddamn Shah of Iran. You know, he was another bitch ass motherfucker. Iran had a punk ass sellout. The United States was extorting his ass. Under the goddamn Carter administration. But then there came a motherfucker by the name of Khomeini. I told a Khomeini who said, fuck that. We ain't giving these motherfuckers nothing. If they want our oil, make them pay. And the people was for that shit. So that they chased the Shah out of goddamn Iran. And he ran here and stayed here for a while. Then the United States sent in their military and shit. And tried to assassinate Khomeini. And then put him back in power. Of all the things to reward all research, history is best suited, Malcolm said, man. I'm a fucking historian. That's all I study mostly. It's history. It's my major. Sociology is my minor. History and, the, and, and people, societies throughout history is what I study and where my focus lies. You understand that shit? So, motherfucker, if you come to try to wrestle with me on that shit, you better come correct. You better come correct. You better be well fucking read. Because I am well read. Not well video watched. Well read. This is Brevi Lyle, man. Peace.